Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Playtech TV. My name is Kevin and today we're going to be looking at air CPU coolers. So we have three Noctua's here. We got the Noctua NH-D15, the big boy. Got the Noctua NH-L12, their low profile CPU air cooler. And the Noctua NH-U9B, their more entry level cooler. So I'm going to be giving you an overview of all three of these coolers and also a comparison to see the performance differences between these three Noctua air coolers. So why would you even want an aftermarket CPU cooler like one of these Noctuas I have in front of me? Well, two reasons come to mind. Overclocking is the first. So with increased frequencies come increased voltages, which brings increased heat. Now, the stock Intel and AMD coolers that come with most CPUs out there are good at cooling the CPU at its stock voltages and stock frequencies. However, when you start to overclock, they often can't keep up and your CPU will start to hit its thermal limit, which will bring thermal throttling to your CPU, which isn't good at all. So you need an aftermarket CPU cooler to bring those temperatures down as they cool more efficiently than the stock coolers and that will allow you to overclock without the CPU getting too hot and hitting its thermal limit. The other reason is just bringing temperatures down. You might not be looking to overclock your CPU but you just want to bring the temperatures down so in theory the lifespan of the CPU is extended because heat does kill electrical components and less heat is always better than more heat. Now, let's get into all the different CPUs we have in front of us. First, let's talk about Noctua's entry level CPU cooler. It's the NH-U9B. So this features a single U-type heat sink with four six millimeter heat pipes. It has dual 92 millimeter fans, which, go, which run at 1600 RPM has a copper base and copper heat pipes and has aluminium fins. Now this thing is really good in terms of price to performance as you'll see later when we get into the testing. Up next is the Noctua NH-L12, their low profile CPU cooler. And by low profile, I mean it's coming in at 92 millimeters tall in dual fan configuration and 66 millimeters tall in single fan configuration. Not only that, it has four heat pipes. It has a single 92 millimeter fan, which runs at 1600 RPM, and an additional 120 millimeter fan, which runs at 1500 RPM. It has a copper base and copper heat pipes and aluminum fins, and it's perfect for people that want an aftermarket CPU cooler in their mini gaming PC build and don't have much space to work with. Last but not least is the Noctua NH-D15, the successor to the NH-D14. Now this is a dual tower heat sink featuring six six millimeter heat pipes, is wider than the NH-D14 but has better RAM compatibility through the cutouts on the heat sink for high profile RAM, has dual 150 millimeter fans at 1500 RPM, has a copper base and heat pipes and aluminium fins on the heat sink just like the other two. Not only that, but all of them are very quiet but offer great airflow through Noctua's excellently designed fans. They feature great packaging and easy installation even on the NHL 12 which I thought might be difficult. It was actually very, very easy to install. And they all come with six years of warranty. Now, if you want to see if they're compatible with your CPU and socket, then I'll leave the links in the description below to each individual CPU cooler so you can see if it's going to fit your CPU. Now, let's see how these three Noctua CPU coolers all perform. First, let's talk about the test rig we're using. This is the Asus test rig, which features an Asus Z97 Maximus Hero motherboard. CPU we're using is the Intel i5-4690K that's overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. The cooler that's on it right now is the NHD15. Graphics is an AMD 7870 graphics card and powering the rig is a 750 watt gold power supply. Now for this testing I took the temperatures at idle and I also took temperatures 
through a stress test which was an Intel Extreme Tuning Utility and I ran the stress test within that software for 15 minutes and took the highest temperature the CPU went up to with the different CPU coolers on it. Let's start with the entry level, the NH-U9B. At idle it was at 35 degrees Celsius and during the stress test it went all the way up to 70 degrees Celsius which is still well under the 100 degree thermal limit of the 4690K. The NHL12, the low profile cooler, at idle was 37 degrees Celsius, so 2 degrees hotter than the NHU9B, and during the stress test it went up to 73 degrees Celsius, so 3 degrees hotter than the U9B. And lastly, the big boy, the NHD15. On idle it was only 33 degrees Celsius, and on load during the stress test it went up to a maximum of 62 degrees Celsius. So absolutely phenomenal cooling coming out of that NHD15. But I think the most surprising was the NHU9B. It's really, really good cooling for something as low cost as it is, and it's hitting the absolute perfect price to performance ratio. But overall, I was impressed with all three of these, and they all kept that CPU cool, CPU very cool, considering where its thermal limit is and how hot these uh, Haswell chips get when you start to overclock them. In conclusion, all three of these Noctua coolers are absolutely excellent and all Noctua products scream high quality. The NHU9B is very small but performed very well and is coming in at a really low cost, meaning that it's the ultimate entry level CPU cooler from Noctua. The NHL12 is a great low profile cooler that still offers really good performance and would be perfect in a mini gaming PC build. And the big boy, the NHD15. This thing is phenomenal. If you're looking for the ultimate in CPU air cooling, look no further than the NHD15. This guy is rivaling Corsair H110 and H100i liquid coolers so yeah what what do you expect out of such a big cooler it is really really good now i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like if you liked it please subscribe to playtech tv and i'll see you guys next time